Do you like anime, but you have no idea about anime studios? Your anime taste is the best, but you can't support your opinion with a strong argument? Then we have the solution for you. Just pretend to know what you're talking about. Possible side effects are overconfidence, arrogancy, and to look like an idiot in front of people who actually know what they're talking about. If you are like me and you really love anime but you have no idea about anime studios, then here is the right place for you. You don't need to know everything about anime studios. Just learn these few information and with a few tricks you are ready to go. For example, if you think that SAO's characters had a lot of depth into them in the anime but you can't support your opinion with a strong argument, then don't feel sorry for yourself even if you should because SAO sucks. Just bring up a bullshit argument and say something like SAO characters had always a lot of depth into them in the anime, but of course it was obvious after the same studio like Erased or Your Lion April produced it. Of course that doesn't make any sense, but it sounds like it and you sound like you know what you're talking about. So all you need to do is learn a few things about anime studios. The next information should help you with it. Of course there are a lot of studios out there, so if a studio comes up during a conversation and you don't know about it, then you can just say you never liked them anyway and change the topic. Or you could just say you never had the time to look into it yet. So here are a few information about anime studios that you should know about. Let's start off with one of the giants, Madhouse. Founded in 1972, is one of the grandpas of anime. With 48 years of business, they produced or worked on more than 130 animes. Some of the recent success stories from Madhouse that you should associate with this company are Death Note, Death Parade and Parasite. Much younger but nonetheless successful is our next studio, A1 Pictures. A1 Pictures was founded in 2005 and with only 15 years of business they already produced or worked on 80 shows of which many were very successful. Shows like Your Lie in April, Gate and Blue Exorcist were all produced by A1 Pictures and only from that you can already imagine the big variety of shows they produced. There are also studios out there which have only one genre in mind, for example cuteness. Of course I'm talking about Kyoto Animations. Founded in 1981, Kyoto Animations first became very popular with one of my absolute favorite shows, Lucky Star in 2007. Ever since then, Kyoto Animations had many hit shows like Laland, Kyeon or Dragon Maid. Our next studio is old, big and very successful, but most importantly, it is probably the best known anime studio out there. Studio Ghibli, founded in 1985, is a well-known name, one of which even people who are not into anime most likely heard about. Ghibli movies are a very good first introduction into anime, that's why a lot of people really appreciate it. With success stories like Spirited Away, House Moving Castle and my personal favorite Princess Mononoke, Ghibli Studio is a well worldwide known name. The second oldest studio on my list is Studio Dean, which is with more than 140 productions also one of the biggest. Of course you could remember this name for great shows like Konosuba, Fruits Basket, the second season and upcoming third season from Lock Horizon, but you could also remember it for the very great animations of the third season from Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah. One of the youngest studios on my list is White Fox. White Fox was founded in 2007 and so far only produced 20 anime series. Many of their shows were very successful. Steins Gate, Girls Last Tour and Akamega Kill were already very successful on its own, but ReZero was probably the most successful of them all. Even not so successful shows of White Fox are still very good and the best unknown one of them might be Katanagatari. With only 6 shows on the list is Studio Trigger, the smallest successful anime studio in this video. Founded in 2011 by two former Gainax employees, is Studio Trigger with only 9 years of business the second youngest offspring company on my list. Even though Studio Trigger had successful or at least known shows like Little Witch Academia and even worked on in co-production Darling and the Franks, they're still known for their amazing production of Killer Kill. A little older but in comparison still young is a studio which was in recent years blessed with a ton of attention. Bones with their strange logo was founded in 1998 and is responsible for the production of Full Metal Alchemist or the much better version Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. But this studio was also very successful with their production of Soul Eater and in recent years they had a boom with their successful production of My Hero Academia. 34 years old, 150 shows 
shows on their list and producers of some of my favorite shows are JC Stuff. Data Life, Food Wars and Dan Machi should all be names that you bring in contact with JC Stuff. But they also produce Toradora, which I really love. And they also produce one of the funniest animes I've ever seen. And this is Kuzio Saiki. Actually, it's Saiki Kuzio, but I always pronounce the name wrong, so who cares? Last but not least on this list, we have Production IG, a studio which was founded in 1987 and produced shows like Guilty Crown, Haikyuu and Psychopaths. Production IG also did something else. They founded their subsidiary Wit Studio in 2012. Wit Studio, with only eight years of business, is the youngest studio on this list. And they should be remembered for shows like Vinland Saga, Margus Bright, and of course their amazing production of Attack on Titan. So here you have it. I hope you learned at least something from it. With this little information and with a little confidence, you should be alright during a conversation about anime studios. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, leave a like and a subscribe and see you guys next time.